So let's take a look at OpenJDK and PHP. Now normally I wouldn't install PHP because it's really just to do with, um, well as it says, they're primarily to do with websites. Um, I imagine you can use it for offline stuff as well. Uh, which actually also says useful as a general purpose scripting language. Um, now it's got lots of other dependencies because I'm only installing this purely to meet Graphviz's needs. I'm only going to install the recommended and I'm going to put a note to rebuild um, PHP complete, just for completeness again. So um, that's for after optional packages. So let's get Apache up and I'm going to do the same with Apache. Um, I wouldn't normally do this for a desktop build, um, but this um, demo I'm doing of Linux from scratch 9.1 is a more comprehensive build. Um, it's turning into that anyway. Um, this is probably just going to be one off as well. But uh, I'll install it now. We've got API util and PCRE, so it's just a case of installing that one package, and I'll rebuild it later with the optional packages. So, made a note of those. So, let's start by downloading. The package, and there's a patch file there as well. So let's expand it. Okay, it's called HTTP, I seem to remember, yeah it is. So it says to add a separate user for security purposes. Now as the root of course. And then run the patch and as said. I've got a few configuration commands here. Let's just quickly read through some of them. Shared more than a SU exec. What's an SU exec? So it looks like it's probably best just to accept those defaults. Let's see if it outputs any status at the end of it. No, not a great deal, so let's just build a package. Okay, there's no test suite, so we'll just install it. Um, there's a file online about configuring it actually on the machine that's been installed apart from that there's a boot script to start the server so we could install that and have it starting we could probably test it as well so let's go back up one to blfs boot scripts make install httpd We can start the server. Uh, 
And in theory, I think, as I remember, we get a tab up and type in HTTP colon forward slash forward slash local host. Yep, there's, there's our own HTTP web server working with a default web page. So that proves it's all installed and working correctly. So let's just tidy up. 